Before I start the video, I want to tell you guys that everything you're going to be seeing in this video has not been tested thoroughly. So this could potentially cause damage to your graphics cards and I am only here to inform you about the possible improvement in hash rates. So any risk you're taking is up to you. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. In today's video I'm gonna make another short video here. On the 23rd of April 2018, my birthday to be exact, that was when this happened. So three days ago I had a birthday and I kind of noticed this already, that you were able to get 50 mega ashes per second on your 1080 Ti and 40 mega ashes on your GTX 1080. And I was wondering if this was actually legit, but there's a lot of people saying like, hey, this is legit. And there's also a lot of people that are not saying that this is legit. So the only way to test this is to grab the six GTX 1080 Ti mining rig and try it ourselves. But as I said before in the beginning of the video, this is a total disclaimer because this could potentially give you more hash rates on the short run. But I'm talking about the long run. How are your graphics cards handling this? Are they gonna burn their memory down or something? I have no idea. So that is why I am not really into this too much. But if we're gonna take a close look first, it comes from the Oh God, a company. And they created Oh God, an enlargement pill that should potentially give you more hash rate. So this kind of sounds like Elon Musk even went into crypto mining with the boring company and they called it, oh God, a company. I don't know. It's just kind of the same mindset. We do know that Elon Musk held a little book that was telling about cryptocurrencies. I'm not sure. But the only way to test it out today is to try it ourselves. So let's grab the GTX 1080 Ti rig and install this thing and test it for a few hours so we can see the actual results and compare them to each other. So let's get on it. Okay, so we are logged in into the miner and as you can see, it's currently mining Zcash at about 230 watts per card and it is doing its job, it's doing very well and we know the current power usage. We're also gonna log that into the video as well but we're gonna set it to mine Ethereum now without the F Largeman pill and we're gonna run it for a couple of hours and we're gonna see how much rejected shares it has or stale shares and working shares. And then we're gonna run it once again with the F Largeman pill and we're gonna compare those hours of running to each other to see if it's actually working because you are able to trick the miner that it's telling that it's doing 54 mega ashes per second, for example. But in reality, it's not doing that. It's just running the 38 or 37 mega ashes per second as before. And it just doesn't do any difference, but telling you it's doing that. So let's run the test for a couple of hours and let's see how it goes. Okay, so I set it to these clock speeds and the average was 36 mega ashes per second on the graphics cards. And I'm gonna let it run for three hours and we're gonna use our wallpaper to make it more fancy to keep track of our mining. Okay, so the result was fairly clearly as normal. After three hours, the reported hash rate and the current hash rate meet together and the average hash rate is more for 24 hours. So these two lines crossed really nicely together and they are very accurate. So as you can see on the shares, it's all normal and regular. It's just a buildup, but it's pretty steady after two hours. So what I'm going to show you now is a time lapse of five hours of mining with the F pill engaging it to do way more power than it's used to do. And we're gonna see if there is something gonna do on, on the script or something, because who knows, something can happen while it's mining and we're not looking at it. So that is why I'm gonna monitor it for five hours long and we're gonna see a difference or something appearing out of the program that is some sort of Trojan that wants to kill us. Let's get on it.
Okay, so we can clearly see the increase in hash rate and we can also see the increase in shares that we got. So this is actually working and we had about the same stale shares as before. But me and Troy did a calculation on GDDR6 memory before and we had higher numbers on the GTX 1080 Ti for example. Those were completely wrong because they were not doing the hash rate that they were supposed to do. But I'm gonna make another video with Troy and show you guys the results right now because now the results are actually accurate. So we have figured out what the potential hash rates were gonna be. And now that we have the accurate results, we can turn them over and put them on the new GDDR6 memory that is coming very soon. The new series of the GTX 1170s, 1180s and so on. So that is going to be a very interesting video, so stay tuned for that one. But before you're going to use this program, I want to tell you guys that this is a potential risk for your system. It could harm your GPUs because as soon as we turned it on, I saw that the temperatures of the GPUs were rising. They were rising at about 6 or 7 degrees above their original temperature. They were running at about 78 degrees Celsius on the hottest temperature and they went up all the way to 85 degrees Celsius at 100% fan speed. So clearly we can see that it is drawing more power than before because it's probably powering more memory than before. So it can also probably steal your potential private keys of your wallets that are installed on your computer or they may even be able to change the address where you are mining on for a few minutes and you wouldn't even notice everything could be possible because you're running this in administrator and they can do anything when you do that so until it's not full cleared up out of trojans and malicious things inside it then I would install this program and use it. But this is potentially really good for upgrading your 1080 Ti's to run better at Ethereum mining. But keep in mind, AMD Vegas are doing 46 megashes per second and they are way more efficient than a 1080 Ti doing 54 megashes per second. So keep in mind, the prices of Vegas are almost similar as 1080 Ti's and they are way more efficient. So. You decide on what you're gonna buy, but I do recommend those graphics cards instead of the 1080 Ti's then. So make sure to stay tuned for the GDDR6 expected hash rates for Ethereum with Troy in the next episode. So see you guys in the next one.